Hello! Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a, a haul? No, not a haul. A, I'm, I'm gonna show you all the Christmas presents that I got. Simple as that. Um, these videos have been around forever and honestly I'm never interested in them because it comes off as very showing off. But then I had a few people tell me to do it on my channel so I'm like, alright, why not? I mean, it's nothing else to film. So, that is what this video is going to be. Um, I don't mean it as showing off. I have an incredible family that gives me awesome gifts. So, yeah, that's what this is going to be. I do want people to appreciate that I did festive makeup. Um, if you did not know, I really don't <laughs> like Christmas. Um, it's probably my least favorite holiday. I won't go into my reasons because nobody thinks that my reasons are good enough. I figured for just this video, I can do Christmassy makeup. So we got green eyeliner and red lipstick and some glitter and stuff. It's about as festive as I get. This is stretching it. This is me very festive. I got little stars by my eyebrows too. Like This is me going all out, okay? Really, I... I don't know why I'm filming this because it seems like all I've said so far is how much I don't like this kind of videos and I don't like Christmas and um but here we are and we're doing it so without further ado let's get into what I got for Christmas. I am going in absolutely no particular order. I have these all just laid on the floor next to me and I'm going to be grabbing pretty much randomly. Um, I'm also not going to tell you who these are from because I feel like that's getting just a wee too personal, so the first thing that I'm showing that I got is this mini waffle maker that makes a singular tiny Belgian waffle. Um, yeah, I don't know why I needed this, but apparently this person thought I did, and now I have it. So they also gave me waffle and pancake mix, which I can't have because I'm gluten free, but that's fine. The The thought is appreciated. It's a very cute little container of waffle and pancake mix. And who knows, maybe if I'm feeling like being an extraordinary pain for a few days, I'll eat this. <laughs> so Next up is this. It's like, what's it called? Three piece baking set. It has this big ceramic mixing bowl with a handle. So I immediately just want to make the biggest cup of tea in the world in this. And someday I will. Someday I will make, like, a gallon of tea <laughs> in this. Um, but it also comes with a whisk and a spatula, with little Santas on it. Which, if you liked Christmas and Christmas decorations and stuff, that'd be really cute. Um, and then there's me, but that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, very cute. I just, I just really like this for this giant teacup. That's all I see this as. A gigantic teacup. One of my family members really likes giving like home stuff, so that's where I'm getting all of this stuff from. And the next thing, and I think there's one more, um, he got me a mini crock pot. It's not that mini, I guess. It's just about as big as my head. But compared to like, you know, a lot of them, I feel like, like, actual, like, families have. It's pretty small. It says it feeds two people. That, that was, that mean it's probably feed me, like, eight times. Um, yeah. Little crock pot. I don't think I have ever cooked anything in the crock pot in my life. So I don't really know what I'm gonna use this for, but... I'm sure I'll find something. It's just that a lot of meals that go in crock pots are made out of meat. And I don't eat meat, so... Maybe I'll make like apple cider or something. I don't know. If you have any good vegetarian crockpot recipes, comment down below. I'd be interested. I also got this here knife. Knife, kitchen knife. Cool. Don't know what else to say about it. It's a knife. Next up are some fairy lights. These are called starry lights. I think to be for Christmassy. Um, yeah. 
love fairy lights. I actually have fairy lights shaped like little ghosts um, around my TV um, all year round, not just for Halloween. That's just because it's me. So this will make a fine addition to my collection. If you understood that as a Star Wars quote, um, please marry me. A big old jar of honey. I don't know where this person got this. Nobody in my family owns bees, but everybody got a big old jar of honey like this, so. Cool. I mean, I like honey just as much as the next person, so. Cool. Everlasting supply of honey, basically. Because I think I have it like twice a year, so. Cool. Plus, you get a cool jar out of it when you're done, so. Really, it's two gifts in one, you know? This is technically, my parents get me ornaments like Christmas ornaments every year. Um, this is the one from last year, which just didn't like arrive in time or something, so they gave it to me this year. Um, it's a little rat. If you didn't know, I used to own rats, and so I have like an addiction, obsession to that with them. And it's a little rat in a Santa hat that says, Dear Santa, define naughty. Which, it's very true for me and for my rats. So, very cute. I got this skull pirate goblet thingy. It's not actually for like drinking out of, it's, I think, it seems more like a decoration kind of thing. But yeah, so, there he is, got like a skeleton hand, he's even got like a gold tooth, like how cute is that? Very nice decoration, I'll have to find room for him next to the rest of my skulls, but very cute, very me. I got some of these, like, they're hair ties, and they don't give you, like, a kink in your hair. Um, they're very nice. A friend introduced me to them by giving me this one that I wear 24-7 now. And I have more! They are in my least favorite colors, but that's fine. I will still wear them because I love the person that gave me them to me, so. It's what I do for people. I'll even wear pink bracelets for them. If you didn't know, I also have an obsession with socks, specifically like cute, funny socks. So, I got a lot of them for this year, but most of them only arrived yesterday, and so I don't have them because of reasons that you don't need to know. Um, so, but so I have two of them right now, and they are little shark socks. Like, it's like the shark is like eating your, ang your heel. Like, how cute is that? Cute as that. I love sharks. They're my favorite animal, and I love sh socks. Sharks on socks. So I should make a tongue twister out of that. Yeah, shark socks. I have this little coffin. Look at how cute it is. This was hand painted. Like, who does stuff like that? Who can paint that well? And then it's filled with. Shark stickers? Like, could this get any more me? Like, no, I don't think so. Coffin filled with shark stickers? Pretty much heaven. I mean, I can't imagine anything that much better. I got this little chalkboard that was customized and painted for me. My name and some space stuff. I am terrified of space, but this is really cute, and I will put up with being terrified of space so I can look at it. Uh, yeah. Very cute little chalkboard for me. Then, I got this book called The Hilarious World of Depression by John Moe. I don't know what this person is trying to tell me. No, I know exactly what they're trying to tell me. I don't really like self-help books, so I don't actually know what this is about, but we'll see. Um, yeah, apparently I need help with it, which, who could have guessed that, but yeah. I love books, I love reading, so I will put up with even reading a self-help book. Sometimes. Sometimes. Only because it's a present only because of that. I got two coloring books, and yes, they're about sharks. Oh, 
How could it get much better? Could it get better? I don't think so. So, yes, me pictures of beautiful sharks. Great white. Who are you supposed to be? Supposed to be a mako shark? They're much skinnier than that. I don't know what this person is thinking. Yeah, then we got leopard sharks, wabagongs, like tons of stuff. And now I just need something to color them with. And the last few things are like the most special to me, so I saved them for last. Um, one of them is this customized mug of pictures of me and my family. I won't show it too close up because I don't think they would want their faces on YouTube. But yeah, beautiful mug. I also have an obsession with mugs. I have way too many of them for just one person. Um, because I drink a lot of coffee and tea, but, you know, that's fine. So, mugs are always a safe gift for me. Like, anything. Anything. I don't care, really care what's on it. It'll be great. So yeah, I have this. It's awesome. This is so freaking special. Um, somebody made, me and all my siblings, these huge sets of every home video that my family's ever really taken. Like, starting from 30 years ago. And also added, like, all the pictures that we've taken during that time, like, put them on CDs, and... Oh, I watched a lot of them yesterday, and oh my god. So many flashbacks, so many... happy tears, sad tears. It's like one of the most special things that someone could have ever given me. I'll treasure this for the rest of my life. And then... Then... This... I... I lost my shit when I unwrapped it. This is the, like, coolest thing in the entire world. It's a me doll. It's a Lauren doll. And this is, like, 100% homemade. Like, my little face is homemade, my hair is homemade, they made the clothes, like... <laughs> it's so perfect! Like, they got, like, my dark roots going into the red. They got a Marvel shirt with fishnets and a little black leather skirt, and like... <laughs> it makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. I've, like... I've just held her, like, since I unwrapped her, and she's so beautiful and special, and I love her so much, and she's gonna spend the rest of my life with me. And, like, she's even got, like, the little necklaces that I always wear. Like, she's got her own version of my little pentagram. Like, she's so beautiful and special, and I love her. I don't know what else I can describe her as except those, like, three adjectives, but she is, and she's everything I wish I could be. So, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I don't really like these kind of videos, but, I mean, I was told to do this, and I see no reason not to, so, cool. This was fun for me to film. It was fun to watch me show off all the stuff that I got. Hope that you enjoyed this video. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Little Christmas spirit, you know. Help me out a little bit. Um, like this video. Comment down below any other videos that you want me to do. I have a few more ideas cooking in here, which we'll see if I ever do. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.